Hi guys and welcome back to part 11 of Carter where we're still in chapter 9. This has been quite a tricky one so far. Um, let's see, um, we need to try and make some some patterns out of all of this. Um, let's see what we can do. Pretty quickly, I'm not sure what triggered it. Um, I heard a sound though. Okay, where are you going? This is very impressive the moment. Those patterns on the model are so glorious and different from every angle. Okay, I mean, I definitely heard a sound. Okay, let's let's try another one. All right, okay. Let's move some more stuff. So that made another sound. Let's see. Okay. Um. Okay, let's put this in this direction. Oh. Two sides of the monolith are gro glowing. Okay, so we've got two correct. Okay, looks like that was all we needed for the next one. Okay, interesting. Like lights up the pathway. Okay. <laughs> Those pans in the moon. I mean, I know, but now there's a shiny, a shiny moon. Emitting a beam of light. Rotate this so we can see some other angles. Uh, okay, maybe we don't. 
don't have the path right yet. Are we missing anything? Oh, wait, look, this is pulsating. here following a specific path into there okay hmm things can we have some bridges right can we cross some places oh look path is changing This piece, okay, I don't think we need that. Not really working. Okay, that that looks right. Wow. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that rumbling could it be? Oh, he ran off. I mean, <laughs> okay. Before we go anywhere, um, there is the snowman. It's bothering me. We picked up. I think we picked up the last piece of the snowman. So. Uh, which side was it? He's over here. We picked up something. I just wanna. Yep, yep. Okay, it's missing the final touch. It's still missing something. Okay, from here, I think we're gonna try get straight to this new map piece. This one is a bit tricky. Maybe. Here we can easily get to the lighthouse. I don't know if that's correct. I feel like this should be simple, right? Like, uh, no, this won't fit here. Oh, tricky. need a map piece that's going to easily connect. Okay, this one will. So we need to get onto this corner. Okay. Don't think that's that difficult, right? We can get onto it over here. And now we can get onto the new map piece. So I can place it. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, some new terrain. Okay, okay. Oh, here is everyone. Hello, guys. Incredible. Oh, my. You did it. You found the seventh iceberg. And here's our ancestor's treasure, just as I theorized. I'm sorry for running off on you. I just had to see it for myself once the iceberg surfaced. I've been searching for so long, I can't believe the day has come. I always believed in Loak, and he was right. Now let's see about that treasure helping me out. Ooh, it finally happened. My hands are feeling warm already. It's the seventh iceberg. I can't believe I'm actually standing on it. What an iceberg. <laughs> an iceberg. I don't know what you did, newcomer. But you seem to be making everyone stay. Time to open the treasure. Everyone, please stand back. We don't know what awaits us within. Hold your breath, everyone. Here we go. Floofs. Are those? But how? Aww. 
snoring. Husky dogs. Our ancestors left us huskies. They're perfect. We have to keep them warm. The poor things. We must protect them. Yes, protect the floofs. Of course, I die for them. Anything else warm we can add? That's great. Now let's get them back to base. Hmm, human. Carto. Oh, sorry to interrupt whatever this is. <laughs> I was sailing nearby when an iceberg surfaced from below and grounded the boat. Just wanted to make sure you were okay. Phew. Hi everyone, I'm Carter's friend. It looks like you're pretty busy. Anything I can help with? Good timing, friend. We need to bring these sleep pooches back to our base. You're very welcome to join us. Oh, you got the floops. Look at these huskies. They're so cute. Oh, paper airplane. Carto, my treasure, I just saw you down below. Did you see your granny? I was all set to scoop you up in the airship after she cooled off, but the old gal wasn't happy when I dipped below the clouds. I don't think I can risk landing here. I'll need to meet you somewhere above the clouds. Find the tallest place you can and I'll find you there. It's a promise this time. I can't wait to hold you in my arms. We have so much more to explore together. Love, granny. Okay, somewhere tall. Let's see what's going on here. Mama. Look at them by the fire. Those pups are too cute. It makes me want one of my own. They'd be such good companions out at sea. Wow, your granny was so close to us. Mm. We need to meet her above the clouds, huh? No word jumps to mind, but let's head back to the story chalet and do some research. Adorable. This should keep them warm enough. We're letting them wake up naturally. They must have been asleep for ages. It looks like I got my hunting help after all. I just have to wait until these pups grow a little bigger. Your days are numbered, ice beasts. Wow, a mystery spanning generations finally solved. How thoughtful our ancestors were. These creatures are truly a treasure. I already started knitting them some clothes. Six sets of everything. Little socks, little scarves, maybe some little hats. I'm sure they'll start sh shedding soon too. Nothing is warmer than husky fur gloves. Looks like I've got my wish after all. Mm, true, I had huskies. They do shed everywhere. <laughs> my, my. I can't believe little Shen is here too. She was just a child when I sailed, and now she's on her own coming of age journey. She's told me so many stories about our people. It fills me with joy. You've done so much for me, but I have one last favor to ask. When you sail, will you please drop this near the shore of our island on your way? My parents will surely find it, and I know they'll be glad to hear from me. Mm, of course. Uh, have we spoken to everyone? I think so. We spoke to you, right? No. I think that's everyone. Goodbyes all done. Are you ready to set sail? Yeah. No. We still don't know. We haven't solved the mystery of the, of the snowman. Give me a sec. I want to go. I'm going to look at that snowman again. You. Still missing that final touch. This is going to bother me if we don't solve the mystery of the friggin' snowman. Well, I really have no idea like what the story with the snowman is. He doesn't seem to be stopping us from doing anything. And I don't know if there is a final touch for him. So I think we're we're just gonna head on. Let's set sail. Off into the wild blue ocean once more. Take care of those pups, everyone. Oh, I'm so sad to be leaving the puppas behind. I hope the story tender knows somewhere we can get above the clouds. I hope so too. Okay, he's nearby. This way. Welcome back, girls. It's always nice to see you. How can I help? We need to get above the clouds since Carter's granny can't land her airship. Who's what can't land there, huh? Sorry, it's a long story. Maybe you'll read about it one day. Do you know anywhere that's tall enough we can get above the clouds? Hmm. Actually, the top of the story shallow goes up pretty high, but it's just a small house. It might appear that way, but you'd be surprised. Once I found myself on the very top floor, there were no books up there, but it, the view was breathtaking. Wow, okay, can you show us how to get up there? 
I'd be happy to help young miss, but I haven't reached the top floor again since. This can be a very complicated place, I'm afraid. Though I can show you what I know, please follow me. Ah, uh, here we are. This looks more like the basement than the top floor. Yes, yes, it's just the basement. But let me regale you for a moment. It was a normal morning, many moons ago, and I was doing my rounds of the chalet, reading the new chapters, feeding the spiders, that sort of thing. I was still half asleep and wandered into a door I didn't recognize. Before I knew it, I was rocketing upwards, and it spilled me onto the top floor. That sounds more like a dream you had. It's always a possibility, but I spent the entire day up there, and my sunburn was very real. It had the most glorious views of the forest. I'd never been up so high. I've hoped to find my way back there ever since. With the smarts and you gals, I bet you'd figure out how. I'm not sure that story quite adds up, but it's the only lead we have. Let's look around and see what we can find. Okay. Oh, here's a sparkly book, Mother's Reach. The strength of a tree is measured by the growth of its roots, as they say in the wild wood. And the mother tree is the strongest of them all. When fully grown, the mother tree's root system extends across the entire world deep underground. This growth process takes roughly a thousand years based on the sapling used to spur, re spur growth. Okay. Another sparkly one here. The ups and downs of the story chalet. A rarely seen door allowed a scant few story tenders to access the observation deck. Someone scrolled a message across the page. The top floor was real and I found the way there. I don't have enough space to fully explain, but this should get you started. Good luck, future story tenders. A small scroll of paper flusts down. Okay. Okay, so we have some icons here, and I guess this is... We'll have to see how many rooms we have, but this should get us there. Okay, let's finish reading first. This one you want here. The spotted sand beetle wove its way through the burning desert sands on the assignment of the captain of the water seekers. It bore a message that a new oasis had been found and that it was time for the rest of the tribe to join the seekers. This particular species of beetle could absorb the harsh rays of the sun, channeling them into energy and its power and to power its sand shoveling mandibles. Its natural predators including prancing asp, the luminescent fox, and the Paulson's tarantula, but it evaded them all. The beetle arrived just in time as the tribe's water supply dwindled and enjoyed a reward of candy cactus nectar, nectar for its troubles. Okay. Uh, okay, I want to go up level because I want to see what's going on with the little cartographer. Need an update on this book. The little cartographer had just barely missed her granny at the iceberg, but she knew she was close. All she had to do now was to some, find some way tall enough to get above the clouds. They headed back to the story chalet, short as it was. Or was it? Moth buff. Okay, we've got no doorways here. Um, this is definitely one of the pieces we saw um, in that map. Let's go downstairs. Now this piece can connect to other pieces. Let's see what this book says. A dismissive missive. Keelan and a forgetful husband Gator were missing their son more than usual that day. Gator was out strolling the shores as he often did before getting lost. But that day he found a bottle sitting on the north pier as if it had been left just for him. It had a message inside and he was so excited that he managed to find his own way home. His wife removed the message and unfurled it and immediately burst into tears. I'd recognize this handwriting anywhere, she said. My son wrote this. Their son's heartfelt message had crossed the ocean somehow and arrived just when they needed it most. Oh, this is sweet. Um, let's see, more books to read. Another legend of the iceberg involves a miraculous drink called Neverwinter. Created by a mixture of several types of ice and local herbs, Neverwinter puts its drinker into a deep hibernation. In this way, they can sleep through the winter safely until being awoken by the first light of spring. 
The recipe has been lost to time, though local mixologists are always experimenting, hoping to rediscover it. Husky business. The first settler of the iceberg was merely a child, and lost in a drifted sea, separated from his people. Upon his arrival, a pack of huskies took great interest in him and nurtured him as one of their own. They taught him how to hunt, communicate with other dogs, and keep himself warm. The settler swore that he'd find a way to... to the settler swore that he'd find a way to for future generations to have their have the sport of huskies wherever they were needed. Oh, that tripped me up a bit. Um, any more books? Oh, yep, there's one in here. After the eruption subsided, the Palmer family rode goats to the mouth of the volcano to survey the changes. The cooled lava rock had created a series of tunnels and slides as far as the eye could see. Dare they ride their goats down the slide, they wondered. And thus, a new world-famous attraction was born at the luxurious lava lodge. <laughs> of course. Uh, okay, you can come over here. Let's check this room. Do, do, do. The mystery of the speedy sheep. The grasslanders had started to notice their sheep had become unusually fast of late. They strayed far from their shepherds and devoured cabbages at alarming speed. After some detective work, the grasslanders determined that the rubber plant seeds had been spread around the town somehow. The last sources of rubber in the region were used to manufacture magic boots, which hadn't been seen in decades. But the grasslanders were glad to have the new seed samples to cultivate, and soon their sheep were back to reasonable speed. <laughs> okay, cool. So we've seen everything. Now let's have a look. Okay, so we need one room followed by the three half circles. Uh, let's start over here. Um, let's move you out of the way. Then we have three half circles. One more room. Then down, then down to the front door, maybe? Yes. Okay, so we've got a room down and down to the front door. So we need a staircase, and we need one with a door. Okay. Let's see. Down one more, and then left two. Okay, one more staircase. Ah, yes, this world this should line up perfectly. Aha! Okay, well, that went well. Do, 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 do. So many floors, two travelers. Okay. So on the bottom floor. That's the door. You found it. Let's go. <laughs> Woo, come on, Carter. Do, do, do. Whoa, I've never been this high up. Is anyone else dizzy? My, it's just as magnificent as I remember. Where'd you get a load of that tree? Though, I'm sorry, girls, it looks like we're still below the clouds, even up here. Don't worry, Carter, we just need to get a bit higher. How about on top of that enormous tree? It's hard to tell, but it looks like it goes up even higher than we are now. And maybe it's still growing. I'd say it's worth a try. I'm going to stay here and enjoy the view for a bit. Who knows when I'll find my way up here again. Thanks for the help, Mr. Storytender. Come on, Carter. Let's make like a tree and visit that tree. Alright, guys. So I think we're heading into the final stretch. I'm going to keep going with this part, though. Ancient typewriter ink. The ink looks a bit sad. The ancient typewriter ink. Ink looks a bit dramatic. A bit funny. Alright. ready to go. I mean, 
sheesh, I guess so. Best of luck on your journey, girls, and thank you for helping me find this place I'll never forget again. We have time for some elevator action. messengers. Mother's been expecting you. She told me to gather everyone here and that the time for family has come. Well, Chub's made some progress. <laughs> Looks like he's embraced his role. Mother says to thank you for your help in her rebirth and now it's time for her to help you. You may enter her embrace. Lend mother the energy of the land and she will take you where you want to go. The music's beautiful too. Belcher soars high, you will go higher. Small one, isn't Mother marvelous? Cherub sapling must have been special to make her grow this quickly. Must have been. Cherub's getting the hang of this watcher thing. Hello there, if you think Mother is impressive now, you should see her when she's fully grown. Hi ho. Phew, it can get kind of hot out here when you're as furry as us. Good thing Mother keeps us cool with her shade. Can we get another bear hug? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Wow, this place is so cool, Carter. Are these your friends? They look pretty tough. Wow. Alright, okay, bye guys. Here we go. Are you ready to head up? This is so exciting. Yeah, let's go. To the treetops. Woo! We're so high up. Is that my island in the distance? Check out this view, Carter. Are we finally up high enough? It looks like the clouds are still above us. Hmm, let's have a look around. Maybe we can spot somewhere even taller than this. You can see the whole world from up here. It almost looks like a map. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? This is so exciting. You're holding such big pieces of the map. Are you putting everything together? Uh, oh my goodness, connect every piece of the map. Oh my god. How much, how much map we, uh, how much map we talking about here, bro? Okay, okay, we can do this, we can do this. Do, do, do. too much white space because I don't know if that's allowed. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, that looks correct, right? That was my island way out there. Wow. Okay. Well, that was a bonk assignment. <laughs> so pedantic with this map, I remember that. Alright. Ah, oh, that was the grassland we first sailed to. It feels like forever ago. Mm. 
Okay, we kind of just have to have all the pieces touching. I don't want to be too <laughs> pedantic with it as I usually am. So I'm just going to try to get them all together and connected. Yeah, that looks about right. That's the forest all around us. Hmm, do you feel that rumbling? Too high. Do we just do that? Yeah. The story chalet. How am I the story tender? Okay. Oh, that was a satisfying one to complete. Is that the desert you travel to? It's enormous. Okay. This one could be trickier because we have this interesting texture. Uh, let's see what we can do. Yeah, okay, so it matches there. We can connect this one here there we go the volcano but that rumbling is getting stronger is it going to erupt again oh oh the trickiest map of them all okay we just have to be touching everything's gonna be okay we can do this This one's probably gonna need to go like <laughs> center somewhere to connect some of those strange biomes. Um, connect here through eyes. These aren't quite connected enough. I mean, if it's connected through water, okay, that does count. <laughs> okay, that was lucky, even if it's connected through water. Cool. I really miss those iceberg pipes. Oh, me too. My Carto, that rumbling is getting serious. Whoa, what's happening? Hold on. Whoa. Carter, we're above the clouds. Can you see your granny? Oh. There she is. Granny! Carter, my sweet. She looks badass. I knew we'd find each other, dear girl. It was only a matter of time, or should I say, a mapper. <laughs> You've been so resourceful to track me here. You found all the pieces of our map. A true master cartographer, just like your granny. And who's your companion? Hello ma'am, I'm Shannon. I would say I've heard so much about you, but Carter is a little on the quiet side. She's the best though. 
she's taught me so many things and we've been on to so many cool places and 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 i want to hear all about them child but now that we're all together why don't you show me a few firsthand we can take the airship and we'll use the map that you girls recovered you can introduce me to some of my new friends and take me to your favorite spots shannon thanks i'd love to join lead the way carter see you why you wanted me to meet him one of mine specimen why thank you ma'am it's good to see you again i was talking to the bear you lout <laughs> that makes more sense but it's nice to see you again too limpa trib is so confused i'm just so glad that we're both back with our precious girls you said it sister and what a little slice of heaven this is these old bones of mine thank you we would never have found the oasis without your fearless little lady over there. I'm mighty proud of her. And speaking of mighty, those camels carry quite the stench. It takes a few rinses. <laughs> now listen up students, we have a special guest today. She's travelled around the world and seen countless amazing things. Have you seen plants? Of course, and rare animals, exotic foods, impossible landscapes. What kind of plants? Um, uh, so many kinds. Sprawling vulture vines, carnivorous cacti, and even an invisible orchid. We've seen those already. Phew, tough crowd. Now that's the hot lava spice that keeps me young. Ooh, wee, delicious. I'm so glad you like it, Grandmam. That's <laughs> the old Palmer family recipe. I think I burnt my tongue. <laughs> a feature of our at your own risk menu and a true compliment to the chef. Shannon in disguise. So let me get this straight. You held the coming of age ceremony for four types of fish. Well, now that you mention it, it was more of a fishing competition. In any case, the mermaids were there. That sounds like quite the competition. Indeed, I'm still not sure if I won. Are you 15? <laughs> Look at the puppies! Your little girl's quite the talent. I've been looking for the seventh iceberg for years and she found it in an afternoon. Yep, we cartographers will do that. The apple isn't full frown from the grandmother tree. And keep a close eye on those pup girls. They're just a sneaky bunch. Ah, the story shall aid. It hasn't aged today, unlike me. Are, are you the artful aeronaut master ship? <laughs> well, I'm a huge fan. I read every single issue of your daring tales. Shh, keep it down, Sunny. Those days are long behind me. I'm just a gentle granny now. Though I suppose I still manage to sneak in a daring tale every once in a while. E, will you sign my first issue? The little cartographer and her granny finally reunited, embraced warmly. The crisp air rustled through the leaves around them, high atop the mother tree. She felt so happy to be back with her favorite person in the world. She had also made a new best friend and discovered a newfound taste for adventure. Thanks for the invite, guys. It sounds like so much fun, but I hear the ocean whispering my name. I still have some more exploring of my own to do before I find my new home. It was lovely meeting you, Granny. Thank you for sharing your stories with me. And you, child, I'm so glad you and Carter found one another. Best of luck out there. I miss you so much, Carter, but I'm sure we'll find each other again soon. Best friends never stay gone for long. Carter and Chiana. beautiful story guys well that is it for Carto. i hope you enjoyed if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one bye guys hope we had this little bit pop up at the end so i thought i would quickly hit record again let's see dear shannon it's so nice to be back with granny but i miss you a lot the skies have been beautiful and it's only been a week and we've already seen so many amazing things we even made it through another storm. We're prepared for anything now. Thank you for being such a great friend to me. 
I hope you find wherever you're meant to be, and I'm sure I'll see you there soon. Also, you won't believe what I found hiding on the airship. One of the iceberg pups smuggled aboard. Good thing she likes seafood stew. Anyways, we all miss you. Right back when you can. Love, Carto. P.S. Granny says hi. Oh, she got a pupper. Ah, oh, Carto, I miss you too. Oh, she's also got a pupper. Huh? Ah, oh, where'd you come from? Good girl. Oh, they're so sweet. They ain't got their friends. Oh, the end. Okay, that's officially it. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.